Now for £299 you could have this, the Acer Switch 11 and you can see there on Argos that is how much this particular laptop is. Now I'll call it a laptop but I'll show you um, a bit more about it in, in a moment. You can see here it's got a very nice keyboard with um, flat black keys which are very nice to type on because I'm writing the whole review for this particular laptop on this uh, device. It's got a trackpad and you can do the usual things of clicking two fingers and scrolling up and down and you can uh, right click, there's two areas down here so right click like that, left click there obviously and uh, you can see here I'm using this standard sort of um, desktop interface here and um, it's Windows 8.1 and you can see there the uh, actual Windows Edition number there and you can see the specs on the screen hopefully too um, we've got 2 gig of RAM in here we've got 32 gig of storage um, inside as well and it's running an Atom quad-core CPU at 1.33 gigahertz uh, speed so uh, I'll just take you for a tour around the device before I get to the um, extra bits you can see there the hinge on the device with the uh, speakers on the left hand side at the top here we have the volume up and down, the power and the windows key which if I press that on the side here it will bring the uh, windows what was known as at one point the metro interface up and you can as you can see it's touch screen and you can use the uh, screen to hop into various apps you've got Netflix installed on here, uh, TuneIn, uh, eBay etc and you can get into the browser here too and it's gone straight into the desktop browser there so I'll just close that of course you can use touch interface on that screen too um, or you can press the windows key you can make Skype calls, you can use your mail uh, it's a bit of a hybrid, the uh, Windows 8 um, operating system as a whole um, isn't something I've used a great deal but you can see here I've gone into Internet Explorer, it's opened it up in desktop mode you can have it in a, a, a sort of a interface in here so it shows up within the metro interface if I click on this story for example it will open up within the interface itself uh, or it should do eventually. I've got the external speakers while that's loading uh, on here and also on the right hand side we've got a micro HDMI output um, we've also got micro USB we've got a little um, micro SD card slot, we've got a reset button which I have had to press a couple of times. Um, this is the power and obviously you can see the name of the device there Acer Switch 11 which is what we've got. So also on the base we have a standard size USB socket, only just one um, but the the cool part about this device is if we focus in is the fact that the top comes off and you can see here it is still a little weighty if I bend it all the way back it loses balance not that you're ever going to do that but uh, just to show the main bulk and the weight of this device is here and you can see it detaches and it becomes a tablet now as you can see here in, in when held like that in portrait style it is a little unwielding it's quite large and I don't think I'm going to have to really use two hands really to hold that in that style. It's quite hefty. Um, I would probably say use it maybe like that on the ta uh, on the table or on your lap. Here you can see the base unit, which is um, just contains the keyboard really, and it connects in here. And there's magnets that uh, guide it into those connecting slots there. I'll show you also how you can uh, you can flip the screen around and put it in like this again see how it just connects really easily that's me one-handed and you, you can show people maybe a demonstration like that so there you go you can see maybe say hey this is our new website come and have a look at our new website there it is etc and you can then use the on-screen keyboard if you wish um, to interact with with this. 
So that is the Acer Switch 11.